Good day, good day, beloved. God has laid a word in my spirit. But before we get into the word, let us start with a word of prayer. Labakaribu husi karabahata. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Begin to touch your people. Begin to move. Let this word be a rhema word for somebody. Let this word set somebody into the next season of their lives. Let this word be a word of healing, a word of deliverance for somebody. I pray, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray, amen. Now, the word that the Holy Spirit has laid in my spirit today is after the flood. After the flood comes the rainbow. After the flood. Now yesterday it was raining for most part of the country. And uh, I was just resting on the couch and the Holy Spirit woke me up. And when he woke me up, I went outside. And lo and behold, I saw a rainbow. In the sky. The most beautiful rainbow I have seen in a while. It was beautiful. In fact, there were two of them just overlapping one another. And the Holy Spirit began to minister a word in my spirit. The Holy Spirit began to speak to me. And he took me to Genesis 9. Ooh! Now, when you go to Genesis 9, from verse 9, it says, after the flood. When it starts off, it starts with, after the flood had passed. After the flood had passed. After the flood had passed, God sent a rainbow. In verse 12, it says, This is the sign. This is the sign of my covenant with the earth. This is the sign of my covenant with the earth, with every living creature. This is the sign of my covenant. And verse 13 says, I will set my rainbow in the sky. And this is my sign. This is the sign of the covenant between me, you, and every living creature. And the Holy Spirit began to minister this word to me. The Holy Spirit began to minister this word to me. That a lot of people are going into the rainbow season. That after the floods, that you have been through some floods. Like Noah, there have been some floods in your life. Floods of challenges. Floods of attacks, floods of things that were blocking you, barriers that were in your way, ah, floods of sickness, floods of lack. But as I saw that rainbow in the sky yesterday, the Holy Spirit sent me with this prophetic word that he sent that rainbow as a sign of his covenant between him and mankind his covenant between him and you and the holy spirit says i should tell somebody that the covenant still stands it doesn't matter what the flood took it doesn't matter what happened in the flood season god is taking you into your rainbow season and if you look at the rainbow ah uh, if you've ever seen a rainbow it's it's, it's multicolored it's got various colors it's beautiful it's radiant it catches your eyes and the holy spirit is saying i am making your life beautiful again i am beautifying you again i am making your life beautiful again i need somebody to get this in their spirit i need you to get excited because the holy spirit says i need you to believe again to dream again 
Bahata to ask of me again. Rato Sokala Bahara, my covenant with you still stands. My covenant with you still stands. Rabasekere Bohota, the rainbow was a sign of the covenant between God, mankind, and every living creature. Rabasekere Bosata, and God is saying that after the flood comes the rainbow. After the flood comes the rainbow. After the flood comes the rainbow. And he's saying, I am taking my people into the season of the rainbow. Into the rainbow season where everything is bright. Where all things are bright and beautiful. God is saying, all things are going to be bright and beautiful. I am beautifying your life. Whatever you lost in the flat season, in the rainbow season, I am giving you double portion. I am beautifying your life. It's going to be bright. It's going to be beautiful. And one thing about a rainbow is that it's there for everybody to see. When you look up in the sky, you see it. That is what the Holy Spirit is saying. I feel this word for some people. That people People will see it. People will see the difference in your life. People will see God beautifying your life. God says, weep no more for your rainbow season has come. Father, thank you for this prophetic word. Thank you for this prophetic word. Thank you for this rhema prophetic word. That after the floods, you are bringing a rainbow season in the lives of your people people. Father, thank you because you would never release a word without having it becoming manifest. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for manifestation. I declare it. I decree it as your prophet. So shall it be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God richly bless you, beloved. God richly bless you. If this word has blessed you and you'd like to sow into the ministry, my information is in the description box. If you have a testimony, if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one session, again, my email is in the description box. God richly bless you. Shalom.